Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, running the uh, Lionel 8410 General on the uh, car battery, so far every locomotive I have tested has worked just absolutely splendidly. So I've got the controller stuck down to uh, the top of this Lionel transformer just to keep it from uh, moving around. Two wires going to the battery, two wires going to the track, and this, of course, is the result. Now this runs exceptionally smoothly. I don't know if you can tell that. But that's running just absolutely splendidly on a car battery. As you can see. With lots of power to spare, you can get this thing going so fast it'll literally, literally fly off this rail. So, running Lionel and Mark's trains with no AC power at all. This was a really, really interesting experiment, and it worked. That's the neat thing about it. So, regardless of where you are, you can run your trains. There's no doubt about that. All thanks to a $10 controller and a car battery. Like I said, this has been a really, really interesting experiment. And it worked. It's actually working much better than I anticipated. Every locomotive I put on here runs and runs really, really well. So that's the uh, Lionel General. We'll take this one off. And we have a Marks Micro Motor, as you see. This is a uh, repainted 588. So let's see how this one runs. As you see, it runs absolutely perfectly, no problem at all. Like I said, this has run every single locomotive I have put on the, uh, the rail. With no problems, no hiccups, no glitches of any kind. This is running really, really well. So I'm gonna to continue to run these for at least a day or so, and uh, it'll give me some idea of how long this battery will last, but I am betting uh, you put a locomotive on this rail, it'll probably run non-stop for days. There's a lot of current. That is a big battery. A lot of current in that battery. And these things don't draw much, so it would actually be interesting to see how long they would physically run. And of course, with a battery this big, you could hook up more than one tra or more than one uh, controller and run two or three different tracks off of one battery. If you had a deep cycle marine battery, you could probably run the entire layout with four or five different controllers all connected to one battery. Anyway, it works. There's no doubt about that. It works really, really well. I haven't encountered any problems with this at all. So, it's run Lionel, it's run Marks, it's run every single uh, locomotive I've put on the, uh, the rail. So, back to the 999. As you see, no problems with this at all. So the only thing I would really add to it would be a, uh, a circuit breaker. And I have one right there. So I could just add it to this case, very likely. Anyway, as you see, it runs. It runs absolutely perfectly. So I've run electronic E-units, mechanical E-units, the uh, micro motor, can motors. It works just splendidly. And of course, the nice thing about it, the only uh, real determining factor that uh, makes this worthwhile is the fact that you don't need AC power to run these things. This is all running off a car battery. So if you want to do some off-site demonstration at a fair or any place that didn't have power, all you got to do is set up your layout, use the controller and a car battery, and you're up and running. Like I said, with multiple controllers, 
you can run multiple trains off of one battery. I've been running this thing for hours now and the uh, power hasn't dropped off one bit. So I'm going to continue to uh, experiment with this. Running different locomotives. Uh, next one will be the 2036. Although the 2025 is actually heavier. But I have not encountered a single problem. This works just absolutely splendidly. As you see. It was inexpensive, 10 bucks with free shipping. Best of all, it works. And it's really simple to use it. Four wires. Two wires going to the battery. Two wires going to the track. It's really, really simple. Straightforward and really inexpensive as well. 10 bucks and free shipping. Really difficult to beat that. Anyway, I just want to do a, a follow-up on uh, running these different locomotives. I have not had a problem, a single problem of any kind. Uh, it's run every single locomotive that I've put on the rail. From Lionel to Marks, it's run them all with no problem at all. And you can see how slow you can run these things. And this one is just absolutely velvetly uh, smooth. It is really, really smooth. Much smoother than it ever ran on AC. And of course, you can run it much slower than you can uh, ever run it on an AC transformer. As you see, you can give this thing down to an absolute crawl. So, having a good time doing this. It was an interesting experiment. It was a lot of fun. It was really cheap. And best of all, it's successful. It works. It works really, really well. Like I said, it opens lots of possibilities. If you don't have any AC power available, you know, if the AC goes out, most people are going to be sitting in the dark with a flashlight looking at their trains. I'm going to be sitting here running mine. Anyway, just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.